time for another edition of My Sporting Heroes. And today, the man under the spotlight is Wes Newton. Wes, let's have number one. Uh, my number one is Stephen Gerrard. Um, he, he is my sporting hero. Uh, you know, obviously being a Liverpool fan as well, uh, I just love watching Stephen Gerrard. Um, I love the passion he has for Liverpool and England and just the way he gets stuck in. And, he, you know, he wears his heart on his sleeve in the, in the match. Is that the sort of person, I mean, different sports obviously, but the type of player he is and the type of man he is, do you try and take that bit of, bit of something of that from, into your own game? Um, no, I think I'm quite shy really, to be honest. But uh, yeah, like I said, going back to, to that, that's, that is what I love about him, the way he is, is just gets stuck in and, you know, it's, it's his everything. To play for a, a club like Liverpool for so long as well, it must, to see him, I suppose, through however many years it's been now that he's been at Liverpool, it must be amazing to see where he came from to where he is now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like you said, he's, he's gone, up, gone up through the Liverpool youth scheme and everything, and um, I'll be sad to see him go this year. Definitely, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I was hoping there's going to be some in place where he could stay, but you know, he's leaving, so uh, I might start sporting LA Galaxy. <laughs> Do you think it might be the right time though for, for Steve to to move on now? I mean. He had um, no, obviously, he came second last season, an amazing season, but maybe this year you can see that he's coming to the end of his career. Or, or do you just watch Steven Gerrard and you can't, you can't <laughs> yeah. see a bad, a bad performance? I, I don't want him to leave, to be honest. Um, like you said, the time's probably right for him. He's, he's coming towards the end of his career, but um, for me, he'll still be the first name on the sheet. Wow, first <laughs> name on the sheet. So Steven Gerrard's your number one, your biggest sporting hero. Anyone else you look up to? Um, I've always been into boxing, watching. Boxing, not not <laughs> taking part. That's not for me. But uh, yeah, I love watching boxing. Um, I did really support Lennox Lewis a lot when I was when I was younger. Um, you know, I did like watching Lennox Lewis. Um, I like the way he knocked people out. Really, um, I think you know I, I like a boxing match that does end with a knockout. To be honest, um, he, he did quite a lot of that. So yeah, I did I did like Lennox Lewis a lot. Well, Mayweather and Pacquiao is coming up soon, and I mean, whether this video goes out before that or not, I, I don't know. But so when people are watching, let's see your prediction. The fight has not happened yet, and here is the big prediction from Wes Newton. Uh, I don't think it's going to be as good as what everyone expects. Um, it's going to be a great fight, but um, I think my prediction would be: I think Mayweather's going to win on points, like he does so well every time. Um, I hope Manny Pacquiao wins. I'll well, be supporting him. When you watch this video, the fight will have happened and we're going to see if Wes was right. Right, Lennox Lewis, <laughs> Stephen Gerrard. Anyone else on that list or are they the um, two you look at and think that they're the, they're the, yeah, the bosses? Yeah, maybe. Obviously, growing up as well, I'd, I'd like, I love watching Jimmy White, snooker player. Um, I, I was quite into my snooker as well. Pub sports, really, darts and snooker. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, I think Stephen Andrew was the best at the time as I was growing up watching it. But uh, I was always behind Jimmy White, wanted him to win the Worlds, which he never did. He should have done once at least. There you go. Wes, thank you very much, mate. Thank you. And there you go. Wes's picks for his sporting heroes. This is Tungsten Tales and Unicorn Darts. We're keeping you at the sharp end of world darts.